there are people who are still somewhat online on the Wii U and 3DS. So, if you do not know they shut down the Wii U and 3DS servers, the only way you can play games online on the 3DS and Wii U now is through private servers. There's kind of like how it is with Mario Kart Wii or the old Halo games, where fans are going to keep some servers alive so they can play on YouTube and stuff, but it's mostly a server for like YouTubers and like big people that still find ways to play them, or people who, you know, create their own servers to play with their friends, basically like that. But over the past like five or six years, a lot of games have been pulled offline, including now even PS4 and Xbox One games, which means if your favorite PS4 and Xbox One game, well, some games are already being shut down, okay? For example, I think two major ones was the crew and Overwatch. The original version of Overwatch was shut down, and the crew was shut down. Overwatch was because of Blizzard's greed, they want you to play Overwatch too. But the crew was shut down because Ubisoft just didn't care anymore. And Nintendo, of course, realized that no one plays the Wii U and 3DS anymore, and had moved on to the Switch, or moved on to the other consoles. So, basically, uh... Splatoon servers have shut down because most people who have played Splatoon have moved on to the Wii Switch and played the Switch versions of Splatoon. Tune people who love who love that gameplay loop. Splatoon did have a pretty good gameplay loop. Not gonna lie, I didn't not not buy the sequels, but Splatoon did have a pretty good gameplay loop when I played the first one on Wine. Wine, I played it actually for a decent amount of time. But Splatoon did have a pretty good gameplay loop. It was a pretty... It was actually a pretty easy game. Like, you know... I could really be on the other side of the map. The whole point is, like, you have to paint the map. Your color. It's kind of like, you know, paintball or something. <clears throat> and you have to paint the map your color. And you have to basically, you know... Go around and paint your whole the whole map your color. But, so basically, let's just say your, green, your blue team and the other team is red team. So basically, you have to get paint the... As much of the map as blue as possible. And make sure there isn't a lot of red. And if the, if the majority of the map is blue, you win. Okay. And of course, you get paired you know, against like people who are absolutely stupid. And don't know what they're doing. Which means if they're, if they're paying attention, not paying attention to certain parts of the map. You can really use the roar and, you know, roar for a lot of the map. Basically, you know, it'll be a very easy task as well. But this guy called OCD is the last person... Unwind is but two. Okay. On the official servers. Okay. Matt Bacon, of course, does not have a lot of a point right now because he's the only person connected to the servers as well. But basically, basically, Splatoon, he's going to try to stay as wrong as well. It seems there's another holdout as well as Gaff Watch Notes. He is hanging out on the online lobbies for Wii Sports Club. They joined the other few players in Mario Kart 8, Mario Kart 7, Splatoon, Mario Super Mario Kart, and Pokemon X and Y as well. But the best Wii U games are still great without online. You don't need online to play a lot of these games, obviously. Okay. You know, Mario Maker gets played, you don't need online to play the game. The only thing is, you can't sell your levels anymore. I think there are going to be people who are going to create private servers for that game. Splatoon, same thing, Mario Kart 7, same thing, Mario Kart 8, people just can play the Switch version instead. I don't see why people won't, why people still play the Wii U version instead of the Switch version, because the Switch version is a superior version, in my opinion. It has more characters, it has all, it has, it has all those DLC stages you could get. And also put on X and Y, of course, as well. Yeah, but yeah, there we go. So there are still people who are still online in Splatoon. Even 15 days later. Goodbye.